Welcome to our weekly program, the inside story of Chabad in America through, through the Mindal Archives. I found over here a note with the Rebbe's handwriting. This is the note, this is the original. And also three pages typed by Rabbi Mindel, where the Rebbe asked him to look up Mara Mekemis, what is a chosid? And the Rebbe said to him <laughs> that I will do it al Pikabola. This is all Mara Mekemis al Pikabola. The Rebbe brings down from Zoya, from from Sichas, from Kutatel, from the Freydik Rebbe. And Rabbi Midel had to find. And then after Rabbi Midel found Api Nigla, so the Rebbe looked this over. A very interesting. Very interesting. Oh, it's also over here. Okay, I didn't see this. Okay, anyways, there's a lot of things. So, so I want to mention, what does the Rebbe say? What is a chosid? People are confused. What is a chosid? Is a chosid a person that goes on with tzayim? I mean, I'm saying, the Rebbe didn't say it. But I guess people were wondering, what is a chosid? Mifzoyim is, is something that the Rebbe wants, very important. But if he goes on Mifzoyim, is that considered, I'm a chosid? And, uh, or it has to be more than that. Or if a person goes and puts on film, once a week or twice, so that he's called a chosid? He's doing what the Rebbe wants for sure, but he's not called a chosid. Or he says to Hillel Shabbos Mavarchim. Or he learns the Rambam. He shoot him. Is that it? That's a chosid. Or some people think that a chosid it, it, is if, if he doesn't say Tachnun, Zayin Odr, Chayelul, if he has a Hergish, he's called a chosid. And somebody that doesn't have the Hergish, he's not such a chosid. Is that what it is? Maybe. Is that? Is that what it is? Somebody once told me, he doesn't need Shalosh the Shabbos. I'm a Lababacher, I don't eat Shalosh Where did the Rebbe ever say, you should not eat Shalosh Is that, and is, is that, is that a chosid? I mean, I'm just giving an example. So, some, so, so the Rebbe wrote, let's see what the Rebbe says. What is a chosid? This was a note from the Rebbe, and he wrote it a pikabol, a pikabol, I mean, pikabol kabola, and he asked Rabbi Mindel to, to write it, um, to write up in Nigla, uh, up in Nigla. Now, so, so let's, let's see what, what the Rebbe brings, what, what the Rebbe brings from the Mara Mekhaimis, that, that uh, Rabbi Mindel wrote down, again, it's all in, in Hebrew, and I'm, uh, Everything I have to translate is, is in English here. Okay. So there's a few Indian in what a chosid is. It's not just one thing. But then we know what is a chosid. Uh, people, people's fabring, they sit in the drink mashke. They, they come late home. The children are running around. And they're home. And, they, and, and why were they? They were fabring. Maybe. Is that chosidus? Is it or not? Or not only that, if the Rebbe speaks about a chosid, <clears throat> maybe also not only Chabad. If a person wears a strimal and white socks and shmeid of godim, that makes him a chosid. Is, what is a chosid? The Rebbe writes in general, what is a chosid? So let me just start with this. This, this has to be <clears throat> a few programs, not only one program, because we'll, we won't finish. So I'm going to do uh, uh, part of it. The Rebbe says, and the Rebbe brings down from the Tikkun Zayar, that a chosid comes from the side of kindness, chesed, which is the level, this is from Zayar, the Rebbe says, which is the level of Avram Avinu. And that a chosid is someone who does kindness with the Creator, and the Rebbe brings down here 
חסידים מסיטרו דה חסד, דרגו דה אברהם, והקימו עליו, אין חסד אלא המסחסד עם קיינוי. They create a, uh, a nest, I guess, a dwelling place and a sanctuary for the Shechino. This is a Chassid. Everything that he does is because the Eibishter. That's a Chassid. That's because, that's because of what this... I mean, we're not finished. That's not uh, everything. This is a Chassid. He has nothing else in mind. His all the intention, pure, pure the Eibishter, God, Hashem. He does everything because Hashem Nisave HaKadosh Baruch Hu the Ebishta wanted to make a dira and that's why he does everything. Whatever he does. Only no, no arrogance, no yashas just for that. That is a chosid. So during the time of the Beis HaMikdosh this hour the Rebbe makes a, a, a note on the other page here for Rabbi Mindel, so I'm, I'm going to put it together. During the time of the Beis HaMikdosh, the Shechina was united with Zo. Zo, the six emotional attributes. Now, as you know, there are ten spheres. There are ten attributes. There is three intellectual and a six um, and seven emotional. There is Chachma, which is wisdom. Bina is understanding. And Das is knowledge. That's, that's intellectual. Now, the other one is emotional. Chesed, uh, kindness. Gvura is... Uh, Justice, discipline, Tiferes is beauty, Netzach, endurance, Hoid, humility, Yesoid, bonding, and Malchus, that's kingship. So they said, so, so during the base of Mikdash, the Rebbe says, brings down that the Shechino was united with Zo, with this, with the, with the six, and served as a, as a dwelling place in this world, with unity, and they didn't need our Aveda. This was independent. This was when the Beis Hamikdash was here. However, the Rebbe says here, in the time of exile in Golus, the unity between the Shechino and Zo is dependent on our action and it, to rectify it. That means that there's, there's six and the seventh is Malchus. Malchus has to do with this world. Because Malchus is like Hashem comes down, he creates Ein Melech Bliyam. <clears throat> to become a king, you, have to, you can't be a king to nobody. You can't just put a crown and be a king. You're a king because you have people. So, so this world, the people, so Malchus is more connection to this world. So there is six, and, and so Zo. The, the six middos is, is uh, in Malchus. Without our efforts, now there couldn't be a unity. So Chosid, he's very crucial to accomplish the existence of the Abish in this world. Because if not through his Avaida here, if not to accepting the Abish there for a king, He's not a king. So we have to, so this is our avaida here. So this is a chosid. A chosid is that, that he realizes that, that, that he, everything he does is for the Abishter and he makes <clears throat> Zo in Malchus. He accomplishes Zo in Malchus. Chosidim brings Zo in Malchus. And this brings out a locus. And that is the purpose of a chosid. No self, he writes. And he does a favor to the Abishter. And that will bring Mashiach. Apparently, it comes out from here 
<coughs> well, we're going to learn in next in the next few programs that a chosid can bring. Has, I mean, probably only chosidim. I mean, can bring Mashiach, even though every yid does mitzvahs. But if he does everything to bring the Eibushter, so so when we learned last week in Brachis, well, the kimer achefes al pnei hamayim zeruches al Mashiach. The whole creation bringing Zoin Malchus, <clears throat> which that's the, that's what a chosid is. A chosid does that, and that will bring the Gola Shleimah. Zuruch is Mashiach. So, what's a tzaddik? He says here, a chosid. Is higher than a tzaddik. A tzaddik doesn't have a yitzar hore. A tzaddik cannot do a sin. He has no yitzar hore. A chosid has a yitzar hore, but he doesn't sin. He is higher than a tzaddik. And as, as we would say in Tanya, as like as a I would say, Tanya is called Sefer Shabbatinim. There was a Sefer Shal Tzaddikim. I think, uh, and it was it burned down. But Tanya is safe for Shabbatinim. Not everybody can be a tzaddik. But everybody can be a Benini. And everybody can be a chosid. So the kavon of a chosid is only to bring the shechino down and to do kindness to the Eibishter. That's his purpose. Nisave HaKadosh Baruch Hu, because that's what the Eibishter wanted to make a dira in this world. This is part of it. A chosid, let's say, serves the Eibishter, Pashtus, not because he loves God. Love Davke, he knows. Not every chosid knows the of of or year or year is Hashem. But only because he's doing it with the emeskite, like I would say, like a doshup shoot him. Only for the Shekhinah to, to be in this world. Because he knows that's why he was created. So today, we are called Chassidim. Not so much, I guess, probably we're in a lower level than years ago. They were big Chassidim. We're, in other words, we are do things by Pashtus more. We do things because the Abishta said so. The Abishta created me. I have to do this. And that and they do it only because of of the of, of doing a favor they wish there. So when we mentioned before that a person learns Rambam, he's a chassid. Yes. Why does he learn Rambam? He learns Rambam because this is Takone for the Rebbe. This is what Abishta wants. That's all. Whether he understands a lot or not. But so he, everything is because of that. He, he learns about Mashiach, not because he wants Mashiach, because he knows the Abishta wants Mashiach. He puts on tefillin because this is what the Abishta said. Or he goes on Mifzoyim or whatever he does. No, no gaive, nothing. This is a chosid. In other words, the Abishta created you to serve him. And this is how. This is how you'll bring Mashiach. Um, <clears throat> so here I want to mention um, years ago, the first one of the first um, uh, shluchim they had the uh, asifas. I think years. I, I don't know. I don't know. Years ago, one of the. I don't know. Years ago, probably the beginning of the the, the shluchim convention. So Rabbi Chadakov had a talk with Rabbi Mindel. By the way, Rabbi Chadakov and Rabbi Mindel come from the same school, come from the same. And uh, to be open, they they didn't have. To, I mean, they were together. Rabbi Chadakov was much older than Rabbi Mindel, and this was probably his best friend, Rabbi Chadakov. We know who he was, Rabbi Mindel. But when he used to speak over things, they used to speak together because they came on the boat with the Freyti Kerebe and they went to school together in Shivan, the term, the Kheretz, 
under the sheet of Rabbi Shimshim and Rabbi Hirsch. So they were very, very close. So, it's, so Mendel wrote down the discussion, one of the first kinusim of the Kinus Ashluchim, Rabbi Chalikah was the head of the Kinus Ashluchim. So he said that a shliach has to know, and according to Rabbi Chadikov, then every yid he says is a shliach. Every yid. But this was the kinus ashluchim, so he spoke then to him. There is a tofel and there is an ikar. There is a, a essential and there is secondary. A shliach daf visen, he says then. And that's a chosid. I mentioned because the, he says, this is a chosid. When you have a Chabad house, is the Chabad house important? It's going to be a Kinus Ashluchim, he says. Chabad house is not important. You have to have it. You should have it. But it's, the important is what's inside the Chabad house. If inside you can have a beautiful building, and inside is garnished. It's, and you can have not a Chabad house, and you have people that put on film, go around, and people that learn Taira Shurim, and do many, many things without a Chabaraz. That's what he was saying in the beginning then. Because the Chabaraz is a tofel, it's not an Iker. We, we should, they should put work in the Iker, what's in the Chabaraz. And then he brings down there, he says, every morning we say, Rabbi Chadakov used to speak like this. He say, My toy for Alecha Yaakov, Mishkin, Nisachi, Yisroel. You make a Chabaraz, a Mishkan. He says, Ayolecha is a tent. A tent is, temp- is, 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 um, is temporary. And Mishkan is, is permanent. By temporary, you say Yaakov. Every Yid is called Yaakov and every Yid is called Israel. Yaakov is Akev. That's the heel. That's the bottom part of a Yid. Israel is Lirosh. That's the head. That's the upper part. Ayolecha Yaakov. A Yid should know that, that certain things he must, he should have. A Chabad house. He has to have a car. He has to have a desk to, to write on. But that he should know. It's only temporary. It's only oyalecho. That's that mishkan oysecho Yisrael. The mishkan, the real thing, the permanent. That's Yisrael. That, that's what's in the Chabad house. That makes a regular mishkan. So when the Amish says, well, So when a person makes a Chabad house and a real Chabad house, and what's inside should be important, then the Amish is a chanes, a preparation. For the Abish said to build the Bismikdash Ashlishi Bimheir of Yomainu. And in Mitzvah next week will be the second um, um, session of, the, of, uh, of what, what a chosid is. Thank you.